Good evening. It's been one heck of a windy day today here in Tallahassee. Damage all around the Big Bend region, especially here in Tallahassee today. Yeah, damage widespread with all of the severe weather that's been passing through, and that is pretty much the talk of the town. I'm student meteorologist Matt Reagan. I'm meteorologist Jonathan Bellis. In fact, there have been 35 reports today, all wind damage across the Big Bend. Uh, about half of those have been here in Tallahassee in the Big Bend area. And as you know, those trees, when the wind gets roaring, those come right on down and caused a lot of traffic troubles today. Yeah, and primarily from the rains that we saw yesterday, really moistened the soil. And the trees were already getting all battered around from yesterday, and today yeah. they couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, we had winds of about 52 miles per hour here on campus, so enough to take down a couple of trees here on campus. But uh, the biggest damage today, at least on campus, has been down at the stadium here. You can take a look at that here. Yeah, we've had trees fall and crush some cars in the stadium parking lot. Hopefully you weren't yeah. unfortunate enough to have your car there. We hope that everybody was safe out there. We also had trees falling all across um, the whole Tallahassee area today, blocking. A tr also, a tree fell on a house in Castleberry Drive yeah. uh, here just outside of yeah, campus. Yeah, unfortunate for them down there. That house was pretty much split in half, mm -hmm. uh, though no injuries so far. Uh, I want to bring to your attention, yesterday we did have a tornado here with yesterday's severe weather outbreak. Yeah, yesterday we did see an EF1 tornado, maximum winds of 95 miles per hour, rip on through uh, portions north here of campus, knocking yeah. down some trees and causing some trouble. Yeah, that was from basically Lake Jackson across Monroe up there, uh, and they had some more severe weather here uh, today, so travel on that sort of set of town is going to be rough today. Yep, absolutely, but for now we're going to take a look at what's happening in our weather currently with Josh. Thanks, Matt. And yeah, hope you guys stayed safe this morning. And uh, that weather is long gone. And what's been interesting, though, is how the temperatures have really been impacting our weather this weekend. And really, the temperatures have been changing a lot over this past weekend. They really have been up and down lately uh, over the past few days because of all the rainfall that's been going on. Take a look at Saturday and Sunday alone. We had more sunshine Saturday less rainfall and of course we got a high temperature 86 degrees on Saturday so it's much warmer much less rainy on Saturday and then we had the rain move through yesterday here's a really good idea of where the rain came in you can see we reached 80 degrees around 10 a.m. yesterday morning and then we got 79 at 12 and then the squall line moved through and it went right down to 69 degrees and it was clear the squall line moved through but right now back to the desk yeah, it was a cooler day during the rain today, and it felt a little bit cooler when that uh, squall line moved through. But we want to talk about the intersection around Tallahassee. A lot of those lights were knocked out. Tennessee, Gaines, and Stadium today all had outages today. Yeah, a lot of really major roadways had traffic lights out. We had a lot of reports of power going out. It was really a rough day if you were a power company here yeah, around Tallahassee. Yeah. They're still working on that down towards uh, Henry Drive and Stadium that's just southwest of the stadium. If you know where that is, uh, about 70 of those lights have been knocked out, and that includes close to the Civic Center where there are a couple of events going on tonight. Absolutely. So if you do approach a light, treat it like a four-way stop. Make sure you stop and let the other cars go. Um, hopefully those lights will be repaired here um, over the next couple of hours. Yeah, if you move away from the streets, about 7,000 customers are still without power here in Tallahassee alone. The worst part of that is the Buck Lake subdivision here in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Power was an issue today, and that will slowly be restored over the next few hours. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll be back to normal here in Tallahassee. But for now, we're going to take another look at what Josh has for us. Thanks, guys. Well, when was today? Rain was yesterday. We had a lot of flooding issues yesterday. We had a lot of heavy rainfall. Let's take a look at the rainfall I'm at from yesterday. 1.43, around one and a half inches yesterday in Tallahassee alone. And that brought up our month record a little bit. We're now above average for the month, and, but we're still below for the, the season. And April is usually the driest month, so right now we're sitting pretty good for the month. But for the year, we're just a little bit behind right now for the, uh, the year of 2015. But right now we're going to look at the past seven days, six days at least, for the high temperatures. And really what the rainfall has been doing is keeping them right near average. You can tell when it's been raining. Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, and Friday when it's been, when it's been raining. So we've been right near or below average, 77 to 80 degrees. That's usually been when the rain has been falling. When we didn't have the rain, we're back above average, mid to upper 80s to around 90 degrees. So it's clear to see where the rain has really been impacting our region. Here's a look at the atmospheric moisture. This time of year, it's very unusual to see an amount near 1.82 inches. That is extremely high. What this is really doing is showing the amount of moisture in the atmosphere in inches. And three inches is the maximum on our scale. Two inches is what we see in the summertime, with summertime thunderstorms dumping a lot of heavy rain. So 1.82 is very unusual for this time of year. 
But what is interesting is that now we're dropping, getting much drier, a little bit more comfortable now, 0.88 near one inch this morning uh, here in Tallahassee. So a little bit more comfortable for this time of year uh, here in Tallahassee. Let's take a look at the dew point forecast. This is going to be really interesting because the <coughs> precip of water is almost like an indication of the dew point. And it really is going to stay rather low the next few days as well. Here's the temperatures. It's going to feel comfortable. Not so much cold as it is comfortable. You can see tomorrow, 78 degrees around 3 p.m. That's not bad at all. We're going to see a lot more sunshine tomorrow. So sunshine with 78 degrees, low dew points, very comfortable, more seasonable this time of year. And we'll get down to around 59 degrees the next night, so even more comfortable if you're going to stay out late the next night. For tonight, 61, we're going to start to get the taste of low dew points, the taste of more comfortable weather. So a little bit of taste of tonight, and then tomorrow we get into the more seasonable pattern. Partly cloudy skies, high near 80 degrees across much of the Big Bend region. West of here will be in the upper 70s, so even nicer to the west of us, right near 80 degrees here in Tallahassee. For the beaches, nice day. No wind damage for tomorrow. Uh, air temperature near 80 degrees, water temp 72. It's been hanging around the mid-70s the past few days with a lot of sunshine and warmth going on. Pond's going to go back up, though the rainfall kept it low the past few days, but now it's going to go right back up with less rainfall and more sunshine for this time of year. Here's a look at the seven day, 80 degrees tomorrow, 84 on Wednesday, back up to 86 on Friday with a chance of rain. 40% on Saturday is our highest chance to look at the rainfall chances. Now let's take a look at Paxton. Thank you, Josh. Well, for today it's been <laughs> a little cloudy and rainy. We had some moisture from this, from this front in our area, still in the Gulf, and it's going to be bringing us the remnants of the moisture and a little bit going into tonight, but going into tomorrow, it's going to be a lot more sunny and a lot clearer and the clouds will be lifting as well. And for a 24 hour temperature change, we have a little bit of cooling down in Orlando, a little bit of warming in Miami, and then we have all this cooling in Tupelo, New Orleans, and that's due to the cold front still up to the northwest of us, and that will be coming into our area later tomorrow, bringing in these nicer dew points, the cooler temperatures, and the nicer weather Josh was talking to us about. Cur currently in Tallahassee, it's 74. It's a lot cooler than what we're used to seeing due to all this cloud cover and the rain cooling down our area. And we have a little bit of warm temperature or mild temperatures in the southeast region in general. And then for our winds, we have this cl clockwise flow, and that's the high pressure system that is just to the south of us, bringing in the southerly, southerly flow and a lot of the instability and moisture in our area. And that's going to be moving off into the into the Atlantic later on tonight into tomorrow, bringing in the nicer weather again for us. For upper level moisture, we have all this green, which is all the moisture in our area. And then we have this little pocket of orange, and that's all the air behind the cold front, showing us all the cool temperatures, the cool air, and also the lack of moisture, which will be a nice relief for us, especially since we've been seeing rain for the past week. And we're definitely tired of that. We're the sunshine state. We want the sun in our area. For a rainfall forecast, we have about a quarter inch of rain left for us, and then that will be clearing back up, then we'll be back into the zero inches, and we can actually go outside and have some fun in the sun. But, and again, as we continue going on, we get a little bit more rain. Key West just keeps popping up a little bit more as the front approaches South Florida, bringing in the moisture to them as it's clearing off for us. And then for tonight, it's 61 in Tallahassee, nice and mild, nothing too much to worry about. And then 68 in Orlando, 74 in Miami. So it's nice all across the southeast for us. And then for tomorrow, we have a high of 80. And then if you look at in Georgia and Alabama, and even Louisiana or Louisiana and um, Lou, or that's I can't remember right now. It's just sunny, and you know, <laughs> it's just sunny. And then cold fronts passing through Florida right now. But right now, we're going to hand it off back to the desk. Actually, we're not packed in. What Uh, I'm on mic three. So we're going to go back to the wall, uh, start. We're going to switch the block here real quick. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to show you right now is one of our segments special this week for FSU weather. It's called our senior spotlight. So we're going to spotlight until our senior show on Friday, all of our seniors that will be leaving us this year, uh, starting with Paxton. Welcome, first of all. Thank you. Congratulations. Happy to have you back. We're going to adjust the camera height a little bit so my head doesn't get cut off here. There we go. So Paxton, how long have you been involved with FSU weather? For a while. A while. <laughs> All right, well, we're glad to have you. Uh, if you could have a favorite memory about FSU weather, what would it be? Um, why did you put me on the spot? <laughs> <laughs> I like everything. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, so All you're right. graduating soon. 
Yes, We're getting close hopefully. to the end. Two more weeks. Uh, so where are you headed after graduation? You know yet? Nope. All right. But you're job searching, though, right? <laughs> yes, I already applied. All right. So lot. we are looking for jobs for Ms. Paxton Fell. So if you're watching at home and you have an opening, let us know. Our people will contact your people. Uh, but it's been great having you here this year, Paxton. It's been wonderful. We have about 15 seconds left. So is there anything else you want to say to the masses before the senior show on Friday? Um, no. <laughs> All right. Well, we are going to go ahead and hand it off to Tyler, who will now be heading our national segment. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Braden. I'm going to come in and bring you the national segment because Paxton, thank you, Paxton. You did awesome. Don't worry about it. We got, uh, we got severe weather watches right here in uh, North and South Carolina. Uh, tornado watch for the Atlanta metropolitan area and tornado watches over in Atlanta. And as I go off the screen, you can see we also have the severe thunderstorm watch over there in the east coast of Florida with some severe weather over in Miami. Miami Beach had a tornado warning earlier today, and so did Pinellas County over by St. Petersburg. These um, will go over further to the east and dissipate uh, later tonight as we lose the daytime heaving. And we also have some flood advisories. There's this is a severe thunderstorm warning and the special marine warning <laughs> for the South Florida metropolitan areas of West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and basically everything east of the Florida Turnpike is getting a lot of uh, severe weather right now. And also we have an enhanced risk, again, for the mid-Atlantic states. Currently around the United States, it's still pretty cold in Boston, 44 degrees. 74 in Atlanta, a little bit warmer, 89 degrees down there in Miami, 54 degrees in Denver. And it's pretty pretty warm even up in the north, 41 degrees uh, in Minneapolis. It's warm for them in mid-April. There's a little bit of snow in northern uh, Minnesota and Manitoba, Canada, and got some rain over by the northeast in Great Lakes that's bringing some showers, April showers to the northeast. Hopefully that will bring main flowers. There's this severe weather that went through this morning. It's tr transitioning into more of a broken shower threat as it moves further to the east. Going further to the north, you can see we also have that uh, small rain chance and a couple of scattered showers in the mid-Atlantic and again in the northeast. We also have a lot of rain. Going a little bit further to the west, the arrowhead of Minnesota is getting about oh, a couple of uh, flurries. A 200 minute delay in New York City, and uh, that seems unfortunate, Tw uh, an hour in Boston. 49 tonight in Boston, and tomorrow we warm up into the 80s and 70s in the south. Now let's send it back over to Daniel with our local segment. Thank you so much, Tyler. Well, we've had a real busy past week or so. You do see, take a quick look at our week ahead, though. Rain is gone, thankfully. Finally, it's out of the way. You saw last week it rained just about every day, and today was definitely the worst of it. But then you see right here, until Thursday, we'll get into that a little bit later on, unfortunately. But she, our, tomorrow, our high is 80 degrees. Cloud and rain over the past few hours. Well, this has been real busy, so I'll just go ahead and step on over here for you so you can see this. You see this mess of red that came through. That's when we saw that real heavy rain that kind of felt like a tropical storm outside if you were outside about 10.30 this morning. It was real awful. Looking at around the Big Bend, our, our temperatures, 74. It's dropped a little bit from what we'd usually expect around this time. We'd usually see it closer to 80 at this point. You see Monticello is already in the 60s, so we could have a little bit lower of a low tonight. Well, our winds, you see 8.8, eight, so we've really calmed down from that 50 that we had earlier. So that's real good news there. Cloud and precip, well, looking back, you just see the storms moving right on through Florida. It, part, of, part of it affected Tampa, and I was told earlier that a tornado was in St. Pete not too long ago. So we'll hope everyone there is okay. Also, Miami down here did have some major storms as well. They had a tornado warning also. More, more information on that later for you. Looking ahead, I'll step out of the way so you can take a quick look at this graphic. You see this front is going to come on through tonight, and we will start to clear up a little bit. You don't see a whole lot of clouds hanging out there on Tuesday. You just see some uh, high-pressure system hanging out and giving us just a few clouds. And as we move this on, you see it starts clouding up a little bit on Wednesday, getting cooler, and then on Thursday is when we could expect some rain coming back again. 
EV state starts clouding up on Wednesday for that. Well, looking at tonight's forecast, 61 degrees, so we're not going to drop too much. That rain will keep us a little bit warmer for tonight. You see clearing overnight, thankfully, so we'll be all clear for tomorrow and the next day like you saw. Winds going to stay about consistent, 5 to 10. We're see we're at 8 right now, so we're right on par for that. Lastly, we're going to go into tomorrow's forecast. Well, barely breaking 80 tomorrow, so it's kind of nice because we did see upper 80s before all this rain came on through. So this is really getting back to what we should be expecting for this time of year. And we're going to take a last look at the seven-day forecast. You do see that Tuesday and Wednesday are all clear, starting to cloud up a little bit there on Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday, all the way through the weekend, you could expect some showers. And mid-80s to low-80s is what we are expecting for the rest of the time and you don't see any too big issues for the lows other than Wednesday it's going to drop down to 55. That's only because we do have that low pressure system moving through our area right now. But Ian, let's see what else we have going on. Yeah, you know, the big story of the day was this severe thunderstorm that came through early this morning. It really left a mark on Tallahassee. Yeah, I know. You and I were walking back from one of our classes. We were hoping to make it to a building before it started pouring <laughs> down. Then we made it to the gym. We looked outside. It looked like a hurricane. Absolutely. Like, those winds started to pick up a lot. Winds gusted up to 50 miles an hour, and that damage was felt throughout much of the area. Down trees, such as the picture behind us, uh, brought uh, some damage to cars, uh, infrastructure, including uh, the baseball stadium. The wall or the perimeter around the outfield was down. So a whole lot of damage around much of the area, unfortunately, because of these storms. Yeah, I remember we were walking around and we were making fun of how many leaves were on the ground because that wind just blew every leaf off every tree. It seemed like it, the ground was just green. Yeah, the, it really was nasty. But, uh, you know, this has been the type of week we've had with all this rain. But we went out and we did a report on this, and we have more for you guys to see. I'm going to go ahead and... Get a look here at your severe weather that's moved through the state. We'll get back to Ian and Daniel with more on the severe weather that moved through the area a little bit later on. But again, we see that there were some severe thunderstorm watch boxes in effect here for parts of northern Florida. Also, there was a watch in effect for the Tampa area as well, but that has since moved through now. We do see a severe thunderstorm watch does remain in effect for the eastern part of the southern Florida peninsula, including areas like Orlando down to Ward. Also, Melbourne as well, and this goes in effect till about 7 o'clock, so not going to stay in effect too much longer in that area. Now, going ahead, though, and getting a look here at how the warnings have moved through the state, we do see that there were some severe thunderstorm warnings moving through North Florida, Central Florida, even that tornado warning that was in effect for areas including St. Petersburg. We don't have any reports of an actual touchdown with that, but we're keeping an eye on that just to see if there are any reports on that. Speaking of storm reports, you do see most of the storm reports are uh, isolated to the northern part of the state here, right around Tallahassee. We've been talking about it. Uh, the Tallahassee area does have a, quite a bit of damage reported with those trees down and just uh, numerous reports of damage. And yesterday, even the tornado that moved through north Tallahassee, really a two-day event here for our area. Northeast Florida as well getting damage down toward Putnam County. That area near Palatka, there were reports of numerous trees down Marion County, down just south of Ocala. Um, numerous um, houses were reported damaged, even looking at some of this information, 11 miles south of Ocala, in fact. Now, current conditions-wise, though, we see right now, seating at 74 in Tallahassee, starting to dry out and cool off just a little bit after the system has moved through our area. Cool front hasn't moved through quite yet. So we could still have a few isolated showers, but again, not too big of a factor. Your temperature downstate, though, much warmer, near 90 degrees in the Miami area. Winds, again, we're watching these as well. Eight miles an hour right now in Tallahassee, nine miles an hour in Jacksonville. A little bit higher, though, as we get downstate here. 12 mm -hmm. miles an hour in Orlando, 17 miles an hour in Fort Myers. Now, going ahead and kind of reviewing what happened across our area, though, here on this Monday, we do see those storms that move through 60 mile an hour winds uh, reported on Doppler radar, 50 mile an hour reported on the campus here. <clears throat> um, very serious situation that we were following. Now kind of moving across the state though, northeast Florida, you can see those storms, Putnam, Marion, hard to sit there with some of that, those damage reports. Central Florida, Orlando, they were under a severe thunderstorm warning earlier. That sense has expired. Those storms now moving down toward the south, down toward Osceola County, also Polk County as well. 
South Florida, we did have that tornado warning near Miami, but that has since expired. That was earlier this afternoon. But tonight, we're seeing 61 in Tallahassee, down to a little bit warmer, though, 69 in Tampa, and tomorrow, 80 Tallahassee, 77 in Jacksonville. But right now, for more on the severe weather that moved through our area earlier today, we'll take it over to Daniel and Ian. Thank you so much, Casey. Well, we were talking about earlier how we were walking from class about 10 o'clock and we started making our way towards the gym and that's when it started picking up. Yeah, absolutely. Those um, We try to make our way to the gym as quick as possible. That rain picked up very fast and this is what a lot of people notice is those winds start to gust and that rain picks up very, very quickly. And uh, we noticed a lot of people wearing it with umbrellas out before it even started raining, which we'd suggest not to do. Do not have your umbrellas out if it is not raining because yeah. for one, it's unnecessary, and two, you risk getting struck by lightning, just to throw it out there. <laughs> also, when winds are that bad, umbrellas are kind of useless anyways, you know, because you, you kind of put it up and the wind will take it and blow it back. So you're just getting wet in, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> anyways. But those, those wind conditions definitely picked up and that's what brought all that damage. But we went out and we did a report on that. And so we're going to throw it to that for now. With a severe thunderstorm this morning, a lot of reports of damaging winds and downed trees occurred, including right behind me in the visitor's parking lot in Doe Camel Stadium. Two cars had a tree fall upon it that has since been cut down and moved to the side. But unfortunately for this car owner, the damage was already done. So as you can see, we had a lot of damage out there today. And this is from that storm uh, bringing down those trees onto that car. And here is uh, Dick Hauser set with the damage done to the fence around the perimeter. And yeah. there's that car once again. Yeah, here's that tree that fell on top of the car. And the back looks absolutely terrible. You see more uh, trees falling on cars somewhere else. And you see a tree falling on the road. Looks absolutely awful. There are some road closures down Old Fort Road, Sharon Road uh, near Colorado Street, and Clay Street also. Yeah, that damage on Dick Hauser, they actually are they're going to be working on fixing that. I saw something that said that this is the first time that's happened in 30 years to that stadium. So wow. uh, it, it, stuff like this does happen when those winds gust of over 50 miles an hour. You can see they had uh, some delays on the road with the uh, barricades they had to put up around the perimeter. Yeah, and you know, they also canceled the softball game for tonight that was scheduled. And they also um, canceled all youth baseball games as well today. Uh, yeah, at um, Tom Brown Park. Mm -hmm. But uh, another big impact is on campus is that well, along with the damage, you have power outages as well. And many people notice that with a lot of the lights on campus uh, that were completely off uh, for most of the day, and they're still working on fixing that. That's right. Well, um, the graph hall is actually out. You'll see that picture in just a minute. But you do see right here the traffic light is off. And that was the case for many spots around campus. <laughs> You do see that that one's off, and we'll zoom in in just a second. You can take a closer look. But right here, here's the graph. Well, that was their story today. Just absolutely no power for them at all. Yeah, DeGraff had to deal with uh, power outages there. They're actually off Tallahassee's uh, um, school's grid, but they didn't have power for themselves for uh, much of the day, and they're still working on fixing that. And uh, over 18,000 customers throughout the day uh, at a maximum did not have power. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much for that severe weather segment. We're going to continue for the second part of our Senior Spotlight uh, here with Daniel McFarland and Ian Cassette. Uh, both been with our program really all four years that they've been here. Yeah, I've been doing it since summer 2013, so it's been a while for me, two years total. What about you? you, you we both came at the same time, I think. Yeah, it was about the same year, but um, you know, we've been going here for the last few years, and I, I'm, I think we're lucky to have a place like this to be able to practice every single day and yeah, do right. what we love. You know where you guys are headed after you graduate? Job searching. I know I'm going to find <laughs> out. <laughs> a couple places this week are supposed to get back to me, so we'll, I'll let you know on Friday if any of those come through, thank, hopefully. Yeah, I'm in the exact same boat, so going to be looking to see what stations are opening up, and uh, within a month I'll be shipped off to somewhere. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate you guys for FSU weather. You've been really good at assets over the last couple of years. Uh, we've enjoyed your presence. We'll see you on Friday at the Senior Show. But for now, Daniel and I are going to step off. Ian, let's take it around for the final local. All right. And uh, now, when we have today, you notice that all that wet rain came through early on as we were talking about. It's a step aside here. That rain came on through early this morning around 10 o'clock. And really, all those winds pick up and all that rain dropped down o over an inch of rain. And uh, most people were probably sick of rain by the time this stuff came on through. And you're like, again? But... That was the type of day we had, and it was really gloomy the rest of the day as those clouds stayed around. But once that rain moved through, things cleared out, and it was dry for the rest of the day, but clouds still stuck around. But currently right now, those temperatures are in the mild side. 74 here in Tallahassee, 72 in Quincy, 74 over in Wilmer. A little bit cooler to our east with 67 in Perry. So cooler temperatures, and that's what you're going to notice for tomorrow as those uh, the humidity levels and the dew points drop. It's going to dry out, and it's going to be a pretty pleasant day. 
So for the next few days, the rain is going to be gone. And uh, unfortunately, until Thursday, things start to change as a high pressure system builds to our east. It brings up that southerly flow, which brings back that moisture once again and all that humidity. So it's going to come back and it's going to be stormy once again later on in the week. So enjoy the next couple of days because for then it's going to be rather nice outside. So right now it's 74 degrees, mostly cloudy with a dew point near 65. Humidity is up there, 74%. So you're going to feel that stickiness outside. And, but for the most part, rain is over for now. It's just going to be cloudy outside with the winds out of the southwest. So looking ahead, this is the culprit of all that rain that we got today. This cold front here is going to be making its way across us overnight, and that's going to be drying us out as that high-pressure system builds behind it. And that will bring us uh, the temperatures a little bit lower than what we've seen with the sun before. So the sun's going to come back out, but temperatures won't be as high. But the high-pressure system is going to dry us out. And overnight, it's actually going to be rather cool. Some areas north of us may even be getting into the 50s. So cooler temperatures into Wednesday, and that's going to be the trend for the next couple of days. But that high-pressure system moves into the Atlantic, and that flow, it moves right around, brings up the chance of rain for us on Thursday. So you're going to notice that rain chance, those rain chances pick up on Thursday and that sun come back out. So for beach and boating, tomorrow it's not going to be that bad of a day. Probably the best day of the week to go to the beach if you want to. So the winds are going to be now northeast, 10 knots with a light chop. So a rather nice beach day uh, with that sunset at 8.09 p.m. So we're starting to veer on towards uh, summer-like temperatures there and summer, summer conditions with those sun late sunsets. So for tonight, it's going to be clearing overnight with those temperatures in the 60s from Tallahassee, 63 in St. Mark. 70, 58 rather in Thomasville and 60 over in Valdosta. So rather cool temperatures for us around here. And as you move on into tomorrow, those temperatures are in the 80s, low 80s in fact. So it's going to be pretty nice. 80 degrees in Tallahassee, 81 down St. Mark's, barely breaking the 80s. So really a pleasant day. So take advantage of tomorrow's weather because that's really the last you're going to be seeing of the great weather uh, for the shortcoming. So for the week ahead, you can see Thursday, 40% chance of rain as that rain comes back in. Friday, 30% chance of rain. Temperatures are going to pick back up, but we're going to send it to the desk with more. Oh, I'm going to the desk. All right. <laughs> Daniel, I'm back. <laughs> so, so, Daniel, uh, what is going on for the week for seniors? Well, we have a lot of stuff going on for senior week. Today, we actually have the senior toast, which is going on right now, but if you leave now, you might be kind of late for that because it ends <laughs> at 6.30 and we're already two minutes away from that. Yeah, we're not there right now. <laughs> but if you're looking ahead, we have Wednesday. You have the last market Wednesday, so I know a lot of people enjoy that. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I do especially. So really take hold of these last traditions that you can hold on for the week. And as you look ahead, uh, as I was talking earlier, those temperatures are going to be up there uh, later on in the week. But for tomorrow, it's going to be rather pleasant. Absolutely. You see not a whole lot of clouds coming through on Tuesday, but Wednesday it's starting to come on in. And then Thursday and Fridays where we can expect that rain. Thankfully, temperatures will be in the mid-80s, nothing touching 90 just yet. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to be avoiding those 90s early on. But we're going to be looking forward to the, uh, the rest of the week. Uh, got limited time here, and uh, we hope that... Uh, you guys take advantage of the nice week that we have ahead for you. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on with the seniors now. You know, <laughs> exactly. You gotta go, good senior I'm a senior stuff. all just eating cassettes. <laughs> and I'm Dana McFarland. But we still have 10 seconds, so let's talk about a couple other things going on. <laughs> Remember, pictures at uh, Atlanta Concord statue on Thursday, that's, that's going to be big. Have a great night, Tallahassee. Good night. <laughs>